so today I wanted to talk about one of my other challenges as a self-sufficient gardener and that is carrots. I always find carrots are just so easy for most of the year but the pr challenge with carrots is just over that hungry gap period so kind of April through to early June when it's just quite tricky to get a nice continuity of supply. So I thought I'd just talk about my year in carrots um, and how I grow them, different environments that I grow them in and how I'm trying to get that nice kind of seamless, relatively effortless continuity. My favourite time to sow carrots really is May. It's not too hot, so it's not too difficult to keep the ground nice and moist, uh, but the weather's really nice. Um, and so that's when I kind of plant my, what you might think of as my main crop carrots. So those are the ones that are going to see me all the way through probably from kind of August time all the way through until sort of January, February time. And I saw quite a few different varieties, but the main one, the one that I like the most is Touchon. Uh, it just, it's, you know, it's, it just stands in the ground so well and it's a nice blunt nosed carrot, really good size to it. Yeah, I really like it. It was actually somebody commented on one of the videos uh, and recommended it to me and I planted it and I was, you know, just blown away by it. It's just such a fantastic Nance uh, variant. So although I've done my main crop sowing in May, I also find that spaces kind of open up to interplant carrots into my beetroot bed and my purple spreading broccoli bed. And those are both being planted out in July. And so I tend to do a July batch and that is quite useful because it does mean that if anything were to happen to that May batch, I've kind of got reserves. Anyway, those tend to get harvested about October time through to December, something like that. And that's kind of when I've taken the nets off the purple sprouting broccoli. So those nets kind of have a dual purpose. They're protecting the carrots and they're protecting the purple sprouting broccoli whilst it's getting established. After about July, we tend to take the nets off uh, so that we can see what's happening and manage the beds a bit better. Um, but yeah, it works really nicely to have those two plantings just I'm all about contingency which you have to be if you're self-sufficient. Then there's a bit of a contingency in August I generally plant three or four containers and I stick them on top of my IBC tanks outside so they're nice and high sort of this sort of height um, and then hopefully that's too high for the carrot fly although I have had occasionally a bad experience with that uh, and then in about September time middle of September, something like that, I'll bring those inside into the polytunnel and they'll grow on really strongly. And so about now, they are sort of harvest quality, but the plants are still really good and the, the, the uh, carrots are still really growing well. And so we'll leave those growing in the polytunnel, just tucked away in a corner until sort of March time, you know, for late February, and then all the way through February and March, uh, and early April, that's when we'll be harvesting those. If you leave them much longer than that, then they'll just run to seed. Uh, but uh, just in that kind of little one window of, you know, a month, month and a half, something like that, we'll plough through all of those container carrots. I need something for late April and May. And so I've got two ways that I'm doing that. The first is one of the coal frames, which I've dedicated to just to carrots. And I planted that one in October. And then I've planted three large containers in the polytunnel and I've just done those in November. So hopefully nothing will happen with those. They'll just germinate. they will be little tiny plants over winter. They'll do nothing at all. But come February time, they'll think that effectively they were, they were sown in, in February. So the middle of February, they'll start kicking off in growth. Um, and you just get them three, about three weeks earlier, I think than if I'd planted them in February. It's basically the time that they take to germinate and just start growing. That's the time advantage that you're getting by sowing them now in November. Um, but the benefit is that because they think they're growing really in February, they don't tend to run to seed as, as quickly as something that's been overwintered. And not everything, not always when you overwinter carrots will they run to seed. It's very dependent on the weather that you get in February, March and April. But you know, if you get the wrong combination of weather conditions, basically too hot, then um, yeah, the carrots will want to seed too quickly. So that's my kind of second 
contingency, but basically the cold frame environment and the polyton environment are quite different. One's a lot cooler than the other. So one of those two batches of carrots should see me through April and early May. So then the middle of May, what I'm going to do for the middle of the May, middle of May to the end of May, well, those are going to be carrots that I'm sowing into the actual polytunnel beds in February. So then they're going to grow all the way through February, all the way through March, all the way through April, and then I'm going to start harvesting those early May to the end of May. That's when I then take all those beds out and put in the um, summer crops, so the cucumbers and the tomatoes, uh, and then whatever I'm planting in front of the tomatoes, which might again be carrots, um, but in a different part of the bed. So then it's kind of what sees me through the summer period. So basically the time when those ones that I'm going to plant in May are growing. And so those are the ones I'm going to plant in March. And those will just go outside in the cold frame again, probably. Um, and so they're going to grow all through March, all through April, all through May. And I'm going to start harvesting those in early June. And then eat those all the way through July and August until my May planted ones are ready. So that's kind of my carrot year. And hopefully it works out because we really like carrots and we never want to be without them. Now, in order to get a little bit of contingency there, I will sow just a few carrots in buckets, um, maybe one bucket of carrots every few weeks uh, in those difficult periods just in case it all goes to pot, then I've got a little bit of contingency. Um, so yeah, that's my carrot year. If you've got any ideas about how you grow carrots and keep a good crop uh, going all the way through the year, especially if you eat carrots every day like we do, then uh, I'd love to hear about it. My name's Steve, this is the Seaside Allotment Channel, and I'll see you soon.